Hello, and welcome to the CATIA Tool Simulation Workbench Tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to set up a machining access system on a predefined machine operation, place the operation inside of a machine, prepare the machine, and finally simulate the machine running the operation. The first thing we need to do is we need to open an existing operation. I'll use the second operation from the bottom block of the block project. Now we need to define the machine access system. Notice we already have a default access system defined, but if this access system is slightly off of the correct orientation, then the part can't be simulated. To fix that, we'll just define a new access system. To do that, we will double click part operation, click the access system button, and now we tell it where we want that access to be located. I'll locate my axis right around this point. So to do that, I click the point button, now click the corresponding point, and tell it what direction I want the z-axis to be, and now tell it what direction I want the x-axis to be. Click OK, and now we've defined our axis system. Next thing we need to do is we need to go into the tool simulation workbench and that is under Machine Simulation and NC Machine Tool Simulation. Next we need to tell CATIA what machine we want it to simulate. To do that we right click Part Operation, go to Part Operation 1, and go to Assign Machine from File. I'll use the Hosmill 4th Edition. If we hit the Fit button we can see our machine has been inserted. Next thing we need to do is we need to mount the part onto the machine. To do that, click the Auto Mount button. Click OK, and now CATIA has placed the part on top of the machine. The next thing we want to do is to tell CATIA to use the machine's default tool change point. So to do that, we double click Part Operation, and go into Position, and we want the tool change point to be from machine. Click OK. To simulate material being removed from the part, we go into Tools, Options, and then click NC Tool Simulation, go to the Simulation tab, and click Enable Material Removal. Click OK. Now we're ready to simulate the part being machined by the mill. To do that, click the Simulate button, Click the operation we want to simulate, and now we're ready to simulate. I'll hide the part so that we only have the stock showing. Now I'll zoom in on here, and I will change this time so it slows down a little bit to 0 0.05. Now hit Run. Now CATIA simulates the machine running the operation. And this concludes the Machine Tool Simulation Workbench Tutorial.